I'm Jane Dotchin and uh, I'm 80 years old and this is Dinky, she's 10, that's Diamond, she's 13 I think now, uh, 13 or 14 and we're on our way from Hexham up to uh, the Highlands somewhere, probably the Cairngorms, we'll see how the weather goes. Diamond, this is her fourth year of trips, but she's the fourth generation of pack ponies that I've had. So the first pack pony I had was a little halflinger stallion. In uh, I did the first trip with him in 1971. And then after that I kept going down into the south of England because the bridleways were so much better. But now the traffic is so bad down in the south of England. Even if you're on a bridleway and you've got to cross a road, there's so much traffic it's difficult to cross the roads. So I started coming north about 30 years ago, I think it'll be now. But there is a cycle route down the side of the A9, which is all right. I went down it last year, but you've got traffic zooming past you all the time. And uh, if it's very wet and there's a lot of spray on the roads, she does get a bit, Diamond gets a bit frightened. I think the worst is the lack of consideration on the roads for horses. It is appalling. Uh, occasionally people slow down, but on the whole, they don't, and they've got a generation who've had nothing to do with animals uh, driving farm machinery, and especially horses, with no idea at all. And some of the farm machinery these days is so vast, it takes up the whole of the road. And then of course you've got to be careful when you go in the side of the road because there are um, bottles and cans and uh, anything, pizza containers, all sorts of things. Uh, and that pony gets a fright and steps on something, it's kind of like to jump back onto the road, which can be very dangerous. Mm. Dinky, uh, she's well suited to a pack the saddle because she's got um, deformed front feet. They both they turn out and she can't walk an awful lot. But uh, she loves sitting in the saddlebag. She's quite happy sitting in there watching the world go by, aren't you, Dinky? Well, I love camping and I love the countryside. And the more I've done it, the more nice people I've got to know en route. And I want to go back and see them again. Because there are some very kind, lovely people. In fact, there's more lovely people than nasty ones, really. It's just the, the ones that cause the trouble are the ones that get put into the headlines all the time. Mm. It's nice going back and seeing them every year. That's why I keep the same sort of route. And also, I like to keep the same routes because um, I've only got one eye and I've got, had trouble with this eye. Uh, I went and got a branch in it. So it's all stitched up. It's still stitched up, but I can see, but I can't read maps very well. But I know the routes so well, I don't need to read maps, so I can manage. Yes, if I keep to the routes, I know. And then people I know, and if I'm in, ever in any trouble, I know that somebody would be there, not far away to help. Mm -hmm.